<laughs> but uh, but yeah, it's it's uh, it's spectacular weather to get out to the it fair, is, yeah. and we've got a stretch of it, so you really have no excuse now <laughs> as we head into this week. Now today we had that chance of a shower, and they really popped up over the Olympic Peninsula and uh, Kitsap. But for the most part, those are the only areas that saw showers. There were a few over the Olympics. You can see from Poleswell and Long Beach starting to get some filtered sun. It's been cloudy all day and kind of dark, but now you're seeing a little sun come out for the afternoon. Even Hurricane Ridge across the Olympics, we're seeing blue skies break out. Now we had a lot of clouds around early, and as we look at our temperatures, just thinking about low pressure, because I was watching the Hurricane Dorian over on the East Coast, and I was thinking, you know, when we see these big, huge areas of low pressure out in the Gulf of Alaska, this is part of Mother Nature's way of exchanging temperatures, heat energy, and helping to send the colder air from the north down to the south. And of course, you could see that warmer air of the south is trying to push that up and make everything balance. We get these low pressures that come in and whip things up and start to merge things together and balance our temperatures for us. And as we're heading in a little closer to fall, we are going to see more and more of these storm systems as they roll through. Now today we've got just a little one squeaking by and it's bringing a chance of a shower that continues tomorrow, mainly along the Olympics and further north into the North Cascades around Whatcom County. Those are going to be the specific areas that most likely get the rain showers for the day tomorrow. Most of us will get a partly to mostly sunny day. Tonight, mostly cloudy. Still a chance of a shower. Got to leave it in there because it's, it's a chance. We'll be in the upper 50s to low 60s. Here are our trough of low pressure starts to pass on through on Sunday. So those showers will begin ultimately to be limited to the Canadian border. And when that happens, we're going to head into our sunnier Monday. Here looking at the rainfall totals that we may see from our UW University of Washington high, resol high resolution model. This is showing us if we get some sprinkles at best one one hundredth of an inch. The higher amounts definitely looking like they're over the Quimper Peninsula and farther into the North Cascades. So we're looking pretty good for a nice day tomorrow. Your temperatures tonight mid to upper 50s cloudy skies that chance of a shower most likely to the north highs low 70s. Now the central sound lesser chance of showers, but we're going to have temperatures warming up a little more if not exactly what we had today. Very similar 77 for Bellevue and Seattle. The South Sound Olympia also getting up into the mid to upper 70s and we'll see that chance of a shower diminish through the course of the day for Olympia on the coast. We're still going to hang on to a few rain showers highs close to 70 and will become partly to mostly sunny even down around Vancouver and Portland east of the Cascades. It's going to be a breezy day in the mid 80s and the seven day forecast. We'll keep that chance of a shower out there for you. Uh, just just got to keep it in there just so we're aware of it on our Sunday, but it does eventually go away for a gorgeous Labor Day and we're going to warm up all the way Tuesday, Wednesday into the low 80s again. Lots of sunshine, but increasing clouds Thursday as we see a little trough of low pressure coming our way. It threatens a shower on Friday, but right now Saturday looks like it's the day that would have a best chance of a shower. Okay. Looks like we're going to probably stay dry all week long. That's a great thing, especially for Labor Day. Yeah, and for to see that starting school. Oh, yes, that's <laughs> coming up. All right, Rebecca, thank you.